Hey everybody, I just wanted to share what exactly the chin room looks like in the morning. Now, I haven't touched any of the cages, I haven't cleaned anything, but I do want to show you about how messy the cages are in the morning. So let's first take a look at Henry and Chip's cage. I usually start with them when I'm cleaning up every morning, and it takes me about a half hour to clean every morning, so it's really not that bad. Hey, Henny. Good morning, buddy. I always have to come and give Henry some love. Sweet boy. Henry absolutely loves attention. Um, he's a pretty unusual chinchilla that way, actually. And Chip here is in his box. <laughs> he is always sleeping in there. He loves it. So really, the only mess that Henry and Chip made was their hay, but they do that every day. That's really normal. If your chinchilla is dumping out their hay, that's because they're eating it and they're very picky animals. So they leave a lot of it just on the floor. Hey, Annie. And usually I let them come out and have a little bit of playtime when I'm cleaning in the morning. And I always unplug this lamp so that they can't get to the cord while they're playing, because they would absolutely love to chew it up. So I'm just going to give them a few minutes to play, and then we'll move on to Nox's cage. And in the meantime, I'm going to clean too, because I usually do that. So right now Henry is foraging, and this is a really natural instinctive behavior and it's one of the reasons that I love to have hay sprinkled around the floor for playtime. So I do like to clean out all of this hay because typically once hay touches the ground, chins don't really want to eat it anymore. So it's just going to get peed on if it's not picked up. So I pick up as much of it as I can. The nice thing about bedding is you can usually start to tell where your chins go to the bathroom. So it becomes really cost effective if you use bedding to spot clean so you don't have to waste so much fresh bedding all the time. Like for example, right over here, they, they never pee here. So this is always perfectly clean. So I'm not gonna throw that out because that would be a waste. Pretty much the pee was isolated to the food areas, which is really normal. Henny, watch out, watch out buddy. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now we just need to get a little bit more hay for them. Henny, he just, he just shoved the food bowl over. There we go. And I'll probably get a little bit more since there are two chins in this cage. Yep. There we go. I'm gonna twist this back around too. Yep. And we got some more pellets for them as well. And this is Missouri food. I've said that in our diet video, but we feed um, small pet select Timothy Hay and Missouri pellets, but Oxbow is also very, very good and very available at most pet stores. Okay, and then the final step here is just going to be vacuuming up and I'm going to use the shop vac. Okay, and I took these out while I was cleaning, so I'm going to put their sticks back in their cage, just kind of in random places. Their cage is ready, and I'm going to move on to Knox. So one reason that we clean out poops every day is because they get, of course, very firm. They're like little pieces of cereal, which is why you can just vacuum up 
uh, so easily. But it also means that stepping on them can start to irritate their feet if it's left for too long. This is obviously fine, it's not that bad, but if you let it get really bad, it's uncomfortable for them. And you know they can get really serious foot problems like Bumblefoot, so it's good to either sweep it out or vacuum it up as often as you can. Hey buddy! Oh look at that face. So you guys can see here, this is the same thing with Henry and Chip, it's literally the same for every chinchilla. The hay from yesterday is all over the ground. That's because he went through it, he ate the pieces that he liked, and he dumped the rest. And similarly, he has peed in places right by his food. This is also kind of nice because I can just spot clean these areas. And I know it's kind of gross that I'm using my bare hand, but I promise I do wash my hands afterwards. Um, it's just easier this way. And I'm just going to clear out all of this because it looks like the pea is kind of mixed in. So we're going to get all of this right here. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to put some aspen bedding down. Knox is really interesting with his hay. Most chins really like the leafy soft part, but Knox loves the stocky firm part that most chins <laughs> pay no attention to. So he's a very special boy. Come on out. <laughs> Knox is usually very excited to get up and play. So I might be in here a little bit too late today. I missed his exciting hour. Hey, Noxie. They usually expect me around 10. We're gonna put you in your area. Come on. And he'll be super happy once he's on the floor. There he goes. <laughs> What is it? <laughs> he is so vocal. I just had to catch some of that for you. Goodness, Knox. By the way, these are baby squeaks slash like curious exploring squeaks. So it's a good sound, I think, if you hear your chin making this kind of sound. Last but not least, we are going to set up the room so that Linus can come out and play, and he is kind of terrible sometimes, so I have to actually close off the rest of the room and just leave this open for him. Otherwise, he will go try to visit Henry and Chip and Knox, and uh, not just visit, but terrorize them, <laughs> so he does not get access to them. Hi, you are really ready. Sometimes he's lazy, but today he is, he is very excited to go out and have his playtime. They have a morning playtime and they have an evening playtime. The one right now is usually only like 10 or 15 minutes and the evening is like 20 to 25 minutes per chin. So they, 
They have lots of time outside of their cages. So it looks like Linus's water leaked and it leaked all over a piece of food. So I'm gonna get some paper towels and clean this up because we definitely don't want it to get on his fur. Um, I guess it could be pee, but I really don't think so. I just think it's this color because of the food. So let's get it cleaned up. And not to be gross, but I, I'm smelling it and it just smells like water. So fortunately it's not an accident, so. What are you doing? Go, go, go. Oh! <laughs> so that was Linus popcorning. For some reason I have a really hard time getting their popcorns on camera. So I'm glad I got something. He's such a handsome boy. Hi! Whoa, something scared him. <laughs> so I do have a shop vac, but I'm, I usually get the bulk of this with my hand, just so I don't clog it up. So, nice and clean in literally two seconds. <laughs> what are you doing, Liney? What are you doing? <laughs> so of course, also, we're gonna change out his litter pan. This is just a glass baking dish. It's awesome, this was five bucks at Dollar General. And I highly recommend it as a litter box because of course you can toss this in the dishwasher after you rinse it, of course. And it's safe for them to be around because it's not plastic, so they can't chew it. So the cool thing about Linus is not only does he pee exclusively in the litter box, but he pees in just one spot in the litter box right back here. So I usually just scoop out this back part, like this. And I scoot all of this fresh stuff to the back, the rest of it, with clean bedding. It's that easy. Of course, you have to have first a chinchilla who will actually use a litter box. Not all of them do. Knox will not use one, and that is okay. And that's exactly why I like having the metal base pans in the bottom because it's almost like a huge litter box that I just spot clean. Hey, Chunk. He's so handsome. <laughs> so this is how I hold them, by the way. I put my two fingers under their thighs and their body is supported in my hand and these fingers just sit there for support. And they all are very comfortable being held this way. There you go. And there you have it. The cages are all clean. And then I'll do this again every single day for the next probably like 15 years. If you can believe that, that is, that is what it's like having chinchillas. And not to mention tonight and every night almost we'll do playtime. So, you know, it's a lot of time spent on a pet that doesn't really want to be touched. <laughs> He's super cute, but if you really want an animal, that's gonna be really cuddly with you and more traditional. <laughs> it's not a chinchilla. <laughs> but I hope you stick around and subscribe and enjoy um, our chins because it's really nice to be able to share them with so many people and help educate. So hope this video was fun to watch or educational and I'll see you in the next one.